Hey, praise the Lord and greeting in Jesus' name. This is Brother Clinton. I'd like to share something with you real quick this evening. It is part of a letter that I received from a disciple who is actually in prison in Perryville, which is in Goodyear, Arizona. And uh, I've been in contact with her for a couple of years now, I guess. She's a blessed disciple. Her name is Carmen. Please keep her in your prayers. And in this letter, she sent me a poem for the honor and glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'd like to share it with you. The poem is called, If Christ Should Come Today. It says this, Is my own house set in order if Christ should come today? What tasks would be unfinished if I were called away? Suppose an angel told me at early morning light, Your Lord will come this evening. You will go home tonight. Would ecstasy be clouded by thoughts of things undone? The seed I might have scattered? The crowns I might have won? The soul I meant to speak to? The purse I meant to spend in prayer? The weight of unsaved millions would press upon my heart. they die. Can I be certain that I had not a part? And just a few short moments in which to set things right. How fervently I'd labor until the waning light. O oh, slothful soul and careless, O oh, eyes which have no sight. In vain may be your reaping, should Christ return tonight. What a beautiful poem sent from a jail cell in Goodyear, Arizona. May God bless you, Carmen, for putting these things on your heart and sending these things. I know that you can't watch YouTube, and so you probably won't ever see this, but others will, and it'll be a blessing to them to encourage them. And those of you out there, please pray not only for Carmen, but for all those brothers and sisters who are in jails and prisons all over the world, that God would send the truth of his word unto them. I know I've been in the prison system, and it's very rare for anyone who is a true Christian to gain access into that system to go into the jails and prisons and preach the truth of the Word of God to the men and women that are in jail and prison. So please pray for them, that God will give them a heart to seek Him in His Word and come to the knowledge of the truth, and that they may be led through the smoke screens of the religion industry to know Jesus Christ and worship Him in spirit and in truth. Amen.